Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. I just want to say a massive well done to all of you that created your own Florence Nightingale's Royal Red Cross. They are looking absolutely fantastic, so well done for that, okay? In today's Florence Nightingale's Craft, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple paper lamp or lantern, okay? As she was known as the lady with the lamp, okay? So I've got two examples here. This one I've done from Florence Nightingale, um, based on Florence Nightingale, sorry, because Nightingale is also a type of bird. So here we go. This is the bird help meant to represent Florence Nightingale, okay? I've also created a plain one, okay? So this is the plain version, and both of them stand upright, which is fantastic. So they work, yay! <laughs> so let's get to making them then. What you will need is a plain piece of paper, okay, plain A4 piece of paper, a pair of scissors, a ruler, some sellotape, okay, a pen or pencil, a highlighter or black sharpie to help draw on your pattern, or you can use the pen for that because I use the pen to draw on my Florence Nightingale bird, that's fine. It's just that the sharp your highlighter comes out much better and it makes it look prettier. And some greaseproof paper, okay? Some greaseproof paper to help you create that lantern effect. Right, so I'll give you one minute to pause the video and go and get those items. If you don't have greaseproof paper, that's fine. Just use normal plain paper or paper that you can find and use, okay? Right. So I'm just going to clear my workspace now and get to making. So what you want to do is roll out your greaseproof or parchment paper, okay? Or if you're using plain paper, that's fine too. You're going to get your ruler, okay? And you're going to measure 20 centimeters this way width, okay? By 15 centimeters, okay? And you can draw a nice rectangle using your pencil and ruler and cut that out using your scissors so then it looks like this okay so this is my grease proof paper so it looks a bit like a rectangle all right now the next bit you need to do is grab your a4 piece of paper and you're going to cut out two strips okay so using my ruler you're going to cut out two thin paper strips to go round our lamp okay so i'm going to go to one edge and draw straight down draw a line straight down using my pen and ruler and then i'm going to do another one to create another strip okay there we go so then there's my two paper strips okay and you might also want to do a third one actually because we're going to use the third one to create our handle for our lamp. Okay, so three paper strips, sorry. So make sure you draw three, okay? And then using a scissors, you're going to carefully cut along the line, okay? So you're gonna carefully cut along this line and cut out all three paper strips, okay? Now I've already cut two of mine out, so I'm just going to show you what you need to do with those. So, Getting my greaseproof paper again, I'm going to line it up nice and neatly. I'm going to grab one piece of A4 paper strip, okay? And I'm just going to place it at the top of my greaseproof paper, okay? And then using sellotape, I'm going to, oh, sorry, then I'm going to sellotape it down, okay? So I'm going to sellotape it down onto my grease proof or parchment paper okay and then I'm going to sellotape the other side as well so let me just neaten that up there we go right and then I'm just going to grab the other side and I'm going to sellotape that one down as well okay I think sellotape will look, work a lot better than glue here. So if you've got sellotape, use that, but don't worry, you can use glue if you've got that as well. Okay, right. I'm just going to cut off an extra bit of sellotape here. Sorry. 
There we go. Right. And then turning our paper this way, we're just going to repeat that step. So we're going to put another, the other paper strip on the top bit here. Okay. So lining up, here's my top bit. Okay. I'm going to line it up nice and neatly, get it as far to the edge as I can. Okay. And then with my sellotape, I'm going to stick it down there as well. Okay. So. And the, these bits can be a bit fiddly, so you might find that you're putting quite a bit of sellotape on. That's okay. Okay. Right. And then I'm going to do the same for the other side. So I'm going to make sure it's nice and neat before I sellotape it down and I'm happy with it. There we go. Okay. And then I might also just place one in the middle just so I'm happy that it's secure and it's going to stay there. See, because you can see this bit's already coming off, so I might have to sellotape it over the top and back round. Okay, in fact, I'm probably going to quickly do that for the other bits so that they don't suddenly decide to come off. So make sure you're sellotaping it round onto the other side, okay? going to sellotape that bit down again because I can see it's already starting to come off. See, yeah, too, I told you this is quite a challenging job, but I think you guys can do it. Okay, right, the next bit, you might need a grown-up to help you with this because what you're going to do is you're going to roll this into a cylinder, okay? So it makes a nice cylindrical shape. So you want to make sure that the two white corners are touching. Can you see? See that the two white corners, they're not like here they're lined up nice and neatly okay so you might need a grown-up to help you sellotape this bit down so i'm going to just grab my sellotape okay and i'm just going to stick it on there we go and tuck it inside so it doesn't want to come off okay and then do the same to the other side here we go. So I'm going to just stick it like this. Okay, there we go. So we've made our cylinder. Okay, so you should have something that looks like this now. Okay, we need to make a bottom for it. So grabbing our A4 piece of paper again, we're going to draw a circle. Okay, we're going to draw using our cylinder, we're going to draw a circle round our cylinder okay so it forms the bottom now I've drawn out and cut out our circle already so once you've drawn your circle on your A4 piece of paper and cut it out you should get something that looks like this okay next what you're going to do and again you might need an adult to help you with this because sometimes it's a little bit fiddly and tricky just going to place it on the top okay and you're going to get oh, let me just move that so you can all see there we go and we're just going to get some sellotape and we're going to just tape that down okay so let's get just get that bit tape it down okay oh I might just get I might have to cut a few bits bear with me year two This is the part, isn't it, when you can't find <laughs> the sellotape where it starts. But not to worry, I've got it now. Right, so. There we go. Oh. So it's a bit fiddly. So you can see even I'm having a bit tricky. So doing it, I'm finding it a bit tricky. So don't worry, okay? Just take your time with it okay so is my circle so I'm going to just tape it down okay and then I'm going to take the other side down
Okay. Brilliant. Okay. And then you can take these two sides down as well, but I'm just going to be quick to show you what you need to do. So there you go. That's our lantern. So that's how he's looking. Okay. And then before you use your third paper strip, you can quickly do a design. So I forgot to say, sorry, when you've got the greaseproof paper rolled out flat, draw your design on then because it'll be much easier than what I'm about to do now. So I might quickly just decide to just draw some love hearts quickly. So I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but yeah, there we go. So Okay, it's coming out a little bit, so that's good. Okay, so I'm just going to draw some quick love hearts. Okay. And you can draw whatever you like. So you can draw squares, a car, shape, whatever. It's your choice because it's your lantern. Okay, so there's my three hearts. Okay. And then... I'm just going to cut out the third strip to create our handle for our lamp. So, remember what I said, I'm going to go straight along the lines, okay? There we go, right. And then you're going to attach one bit to the side of the lamp, it's probably about here. Okay, so I'm just going to grab my sellotape. And you only need a little bit for this, you only need a little bit of tape for this. It's a little bit of tape. There we go, stick it to the side. Here we go, make sure that's nice and flat, brilliant. And then we're going to bend our paper strip, okay, so the other side's touching. Like that, and then we're going to sellotape that bit down as well. Okay, so here we go. Okay, and that's my Love Heart Florence Nightingale Paper Lantern. So I hope you guys can see that. There we go. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed that. So let me show you again. So you can choose whatever design you like. I've, I've opted for Love Hearts here. Florence Nightingale bird and a plain paper lantern if you don't want to draw anything on. Okay, so I hope you enjoy that and I will see you next time. Take care for now. Bye bye.